We are at the dawn of a new era in chemical science, approaching a new understanding of the still mysterious nature of the elements. Do you remember that big periodic table from chemistry class? Well, it's about to get bigger. For nearly 200 years, we have relied on the periodic table to understand and classify the fundamental elements of our world. However, recent breakthroughs by scientists suggest that asteroid 33 may harbor elements that are not found within the confines of the periodic table. But what kind of element can possibly exist outside of that table? And how come we were not able to produce such element in a lab like a lot of the other elements in the periodic table? Stick till the end to find out what the studies about the mind-boggling asteroid concluded. The periodic table serves as a comprehensive guide to the elements that constitute our universe, from the air we breathe to the water we drink. In earlier times, our knowledge of these elements was limited, with only a few common ones such as gold, silver, and copper known to us. The true nature of elements and their relationships remained a mystery. It was in the early 1800s that the foundation of modern chemistry began to take shape. Antoine Lavoisier, often regarded as the father of modern chemistry, made a groundbreaking discovery. He demonstrated that elements do not spontaneously appear or disappear but can transform into different forms while maintaining the same overall quantity. This fundamental insight laid the groundwork for understanding the behavior of elements. John Dalton introduced the idea that elements are composed of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. Each element possesses its own distinctive type of atom, and these atoms combine in various ways to create the substances that surround us. As more elements were identified, scientists became intrigued by their relationships and similarities. How many elements were there? Was this going to continue forever? The man who would finally bring order to the elements was a young Russian chemistry professor named Dmitry Mendeleev. Dmitry Mendeleev, the Russian chemist, is credited with creating the first version of the periodic table. He organized the elements by their atomic mass and observed that elements with comparable properties aligned in rows. It's this pattern that gives the periodic table its name. While the majority of the periodic table is now filled, there remain undiscovered or highly unstable elements, some of which are not present on Earth. These elusive and intriguing elements continue to be subjects of study. Recently, in Mexico, osmium was discovered in some mummies. This is remarkable because osmium is the rarest and densest naturally occurring element on Earth. It is twice as dense as lead, and is commonly used to make fountain pen tips and electrical contacts due to its resistance to corrosion. Gallium is another intriguing element. It melts in your hand at just above room temperature, making it useful in thermometers and as a non-toxic alternative to mercury. On the contrary, francium is exceedingly rare and highly radioactive, so unstable that it doesn't exist naturally and has a half-life of only 22 minutes. Scientists have continually uncovered new elements that can't appear in nature but are theoretically possible. Stick around to see how these elements are tied to the asteroid 33 and how the scientists made the groundbreaking discovery. The interesting asteroid in question is called 33 Polyhymnia. It's a part of our solar system and was discovered by a French astronomer named Jean Chacarnac on October 28, 1854. It was named after the Greek muse of song and dance, Polyhymnia. Polyhymnia is located in the main asteroid belt, which is a region between Mars and Jupiter. It's not too big, with a diameter of about 34 miles. Astronomers aim to learn as much as they can about about these space rocks. One way they do that is by studying how they rotate. In the case of Polyhymnia, it takes around 18.61 hours to complete one full rotation. Astronomers also like to determine the brightness of these asteroids. In the case of Polyhymnia, it can vary in brightness by about 0.15, to 0.18 magnitudes. To give you an idea, this is just a small change in how bright it appears from Earth. Now, there's something unique about Polyhymnia that most other asteroids don't share. It has a pretty wild orbit. This asteroid's path around the Sun is quite eccentric, meaning it doesn't follow a nice elliptical circle like Earth's orbit. Instead, its path is more stretched out and resembles an elongated ellipse. Because of this, Sometimes polyhymnia can come quite close to Earth, making it appear brighter in the night sky. Astronomers are eager to learn as much as possible about these asteroids. One way they study polyhymnia is by using radar. This approach enables them to gather information about the asteroid's shape, size, and surface features. One of the most significant mysteries surrounding polyhymnia relates to its mass and density. In 2012, it was discovered that this celestial body possesses an incredibly high density of about 75.28 grams per cubic centimeter, which is astronomical compared to Earth's crust density 
of around 2.7 Gre Sem 3. Even the densest natural elements don't come close to matching this value. Some question the accuracy of this measurement because of the difficulty in determining the density of a distant small object. Regardless, even at half the estimated density, this asteroid holds many secrets. A group of physicists at the University of Arizona conducted a study on mass density, driven by their fascination with compact ultra-dense objects, which are objects with a mass density greater than that of osmium. During the study, one entity stood out, Asteroid 33 Polyhymnia. It possesses a mass density that exceeds the threshold established by osmium. This remarkable density led the scientists to ponder whether there might be elements within this asteroid that do not exist on our planet. For elements, it is also expanding, right. becoming less dense. Mm -hmm. And as your density drops, the likelihood of particles colliding Right. Goes down. While many new elements have been uncovered by colliding protons into atomic nuclei, there is a limit to how many protons an atomic nucleus can hold, and this limit is around 164. Because they don't appear on our planet, it is unknown if super-dense elements beyond the periodic table are stable, but there is a way to make a model of the atom and assess how it would react to various stimulants. The researchers from Arizona set out to calculate the density of an element with an atomic number of 164, as higher atomic numbers typically indicate denser elements. They discovered that the calculated density for an element with an atomic number of 164 closely matched the density that experts had already measured for asteroid polyhymnia. This finding suggests that asteroid 33 could be one of these compact ultra-dense objects potentially harboring elements that scientists have not yet discovered. Maybe some of these theoretical elements happen to be present on it, which would immensely benefit many fields of science. While super-heavy unstable elements are unobtainable on Earth, the possibility of finding them in space is an exciting prospect. Do you think this is really a new element? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.